So let's talk today about what your gallbladder is, and then I'm going to take you through what it'll be like to have your gallbladder out by laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Let me try and draw you a picture to put it into perspective. The gallbladder is an intra-abdominal organ. Seen here is your abdomen. Looking at you from the front, this is your umbilicus or your belly button, and your head situated here. Up under the rib cage here is the liver. One of the functions of the liver is to make bile, and it passes down a left duct and a right duct, forms a common hepatic duct as it exits the liver, and forms a gallbladder outside of the liver. What happens at rest is that you make bile, which passes into the bile ducts at rest, and then passes down the common hepatic duct before it enters the gallbladder at rest. You fill up your gallbladder with bile so that when you go and eat food, which passes down your esophagus and into your stomach, the distension of the stomach causes the gallbladder to contract, which ejects bile out of the gallbladder, down the common bile duct, and into the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum. It then works to emulsify fat and enables you to absorb fat in an aqueous phase as the food passes all the way down the next four to six metres of the small bowel. What happens when you develop uh, gallstones is that within the gallbladder, bile crystallises and eventually the crystals coalesce to form stones. Some people have multiple small stones, other people develop larger stones. Eventually though, what happens is that they cause irritation within the uh, gallbladder and when one eats food or distends the stomach, the gallbladder is stimulated to contract and the gallstone gets impacted here within the neck of the gallbladder. And that is characterised by biliary colic, which is a pain which is severe, comes on suddenly, associated with restlessness and often nausea and vomiting. The operation to remove one's gallbladder is called a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. In order to remove one's gallbladder, the operation is performed under a general anaesthetic. Once you're asleep under the general anaesthetic, a small 10 millimetre incision is made through the centre of the umbilicus. Through that, an optic port is placed, which enables us to both insufflate with CO2 to get some space, but also to visualise the intra-abdominal contents. We then place either a 5 or 10 millimetre port just beneath the xiphoid and a further 5 millimetre port over the fundus of the gallbladder and another 5 millimetre port laterally in the right upper quadrant. It is through these ports that we place instruments to perform the operation. The operation involves dissection of the gallbladder off the liver. Seen here is the left bile duct and the right bile duct coming together with the gallbladder outside. Once we get adequate exposure and visualisation of the uh, gallbladder, we dissect around the gallbladder on the liver to enable us to retract the gallbladder away from the liver, place two clips on the gallbladder through the cystic duct as it normally would drain into the common bile duct and then divide between the two. What we end up with is a left bile duct, a right bile duct coming down, a stump of the cystic duct and a continuation of the bile duct down to the duodenum. What will happen now is that when you are at rest, the liver continues to make bile, passes into the bile duct and then passes down the common bile duct into the duodenum. By removing the gallbladder, which in this instance contains stones, we are merely removing the reservoir which contains the bile. At completion of the operation, all of the ports are removed, the gallbladder is extracted through the umbilicus and dressings are placed on each of the incisions. There are no sutures to have removed, there are stereostrips and dressings placed which can be removed postoperatively. There are no long-term effects of 
having your gallbladder removed. What will happen is that bile will still be produced in your liver, it will pass down the bile ducts and it will be excreted into the duodenum. The only difference is you do not have a reservoir tank whereby you can store the bile because most patients eat fat in their diet intermittently and you don't need to have a large reservoir of bile in order to absorb the fat which is in their diet. Removal of your gallbladder by laparoscopic cholecystectomy is considered a low risk procedure. The removal of the gallbladder and the stones will prevent ongoing symptoms of biliary colic caused by the gallstone, but it will also prevent the potential life-threatening complications related to having gallstones. The operation typically takes around 60 minutes. Thereafter, you'll stay in hospital overnight before being discharged home the following day. At the time of discharge, you'll be up and walking around, you'll be mobilising independently and maybe taking pain relief for the next three or four days. Most patients then return back to fairly normal level activity by that stage. If you are undertaking a sedentary type role in your job, you could probably return back to work at around one to two weeks. Immediately after coming out of the general anaesthetic, you will want to drink but not eat. As you wake up, you can then resume back to eating and drinking what you feel like. There are no long-term restrictions which you have to abide by once you have had your gallbladder removed. Some patients find for a few weeks following removal of their gallbladder that they can't tolerate certain foods, but usually after a period of time, this resumes back to normal.